Hey guys, welcome to Juicy Tea, where I read out the best stories on Reddit so you don't have to. The funny, shocking, and satisfyingly juicy. Today's Relationship Drama Friday, where we can just sit back and enjoy the tea. Unless you posted to Reddit recently. My dad is having an affair with someone who's my age. Our next post comes from the best of Reddit or update subreddit. Post by Throwaway Dad Sucks. I'm kind of reeling. My mum doesn't want to talk about it and just says that I don't understand what it means to be married. Maybe I don't, but I really, really, really don't think this is right. My dad, 49 male, and my mum, 47 female, have been married for 20 plus years. They have me, 21 male, and my younger sibling. I don't want to get into my sibling's age or gender, and they don't know anything about this. They're younger though. My sibling was diagnosed with cancer 8 years ago, and it was a big journey to make sure they got through it. It took a hell of a toll on the whole family. My mum gave up her job to look after my sibling full time. It was over 2 years back and forth, but we got lucky and my sibling is thriving now. My dad has a high powered job and always worked a lot, but he always made it home for dinner. Then, about a year into sibling's treatment, he started working late or going to a golf club one night a week. Then, over time, it became two nights, and for the past few years, it's been half the week. It was always sort of clear that my sibling's illness didn't exactly bring our parents together. My mum got totally into that, and to be honest, she wasn't always very present for me emotionally. But my sibling was so unwell that I kind of just got it. She's been great ever since. I asked my mum a few years ago if she and my dad were happy, and she said that marriage is more than just romance and rainbows, and they had a life together. Which didn't really answer my question. Or maybe it did. About a year ago, I finally realised that my dad was having an affair, and that's been going on for a while. Basically, I found a document that indicated that he rented a flat on the other side of town. There was just this moment when I realised, and my mum saw it kind of sink in. She just shook her head, and I didn't say anything. Two days ago, I found out who his mistress was. It was a girl who was in my class at school. Izzy actually used to go out with my best friend from ages 14 to 16. My friend was distraught when she broke up with him. It seems like she did this because she'd met my dad. He rented a flat and they've been having an affair for 5 years. Oh, so since she was 16. I confronted my dad and he just told me that it was none of my business and that his relationship with my mother had evolved when my sibling got sick, and that his sexual needs had upgraded, and that Izzy can meet them in a way that my mother cannot. Oh, what the hell? He said, and my mother confirmed, that he had told my mum he was planning on having an affair with Izzy before it started, and that ground rules were set so that Izzy couldn't come to her house, and that he would still be home X number of nights a week and that no more than a certain amount of money would be spent on Izzy. My mother gave her permission, and that's been the situation ever since. My mum just said that she didn't want to discuss it, and that relationships change over time. Oh my god. So while she was taking care of their sick, possibly dying child, he was off effing a 16 year old. Oh. My dad said he would go and stay in his flat for the rest of the week while I cooled off but then he would come back on Monday and we wouldn't be talking about it again. I've been living at home during the pandemic as my university has been shut and I haven't exactly got anywhere else to go. Plus, my mum doesn't want me to go and my sibling is still in school and doesn't know anything about this. I'm physically kind of nauseous about this whole thing and I don't want anyone to know. My dad is just a total creep. I haven't spoken to Izzy in a long time but... I remember her as really quiet and very clever. She's also very beautiful. Her parents had a very messy divorce during the last couple years of school and I remember her being very upset about it. I can't believe that she put 5 years of her life into this. My friend really loved her. He spent a good 2 years trying to win her back. I don't know what to do. I need a roof over my head but I don't want to look at my dad's smug face again. And I hate how my mother can't look me in the eye. I feel like my sibling knows something's up and I don't want to lie. It's like the house I thought was made of bricks was just made out of straw but I don't know if I've got the spine to blow the whole thing down. 
Would we be better off? Internet people, fresh perspective appreciated. Oh my god, this is so messy. Update. Thank you all for the advice and the general wave of horror at what my dad's been doing. To the people that said my dad is a cool dude who's killing it and I was just jealous, I suggest seeking therapy for your tortured self-esteem issues. To the people who said that it was an open marriage for my mother too, nah, I get the polygamy may be a good thing for some people, but I think it's more often one person being selfish at the expense of the feelings of their partner, and it's become very clear that this is what's been happening here. In the end, my sibling found out what's been happening. I told her and I posted and she said thank you for protecting her privacy, but she was fine with people knowing her age and gender. So yeah. She's a girl and she's a teenager. I realised that my instinct to protect her comes from back when she was ill, but she's actually one of the strongest, most resilient people I know and she doesn't really need it. When my dad came home, my sister and I confronted him again. He was a bit freaked out that now she knew too. He explained it all again. He met Izzy, became transfixed by her, bath, and so he told her that he would like to start a relationship. He said he started by meeting Izzy for coffee to work out the ground rules with her and he also worked out the ground rules with my mother. But when my sister pushed, he admitted that he told my mother he'd want a divorce if she stood in the way. So she didn't really consent, she was given an ultimatum during a very precarious time for her family and she chose to protect her daughter. It really does sound like the freaking weirdest adultery I've ever heard of. Not that I've ever actually met anyone else who's cheated. During the time that he and Izzy were talking, Dad found a flat and furnished it for their meetings. Given that over time, Dad has increasingly become absent, my sister pushed again for an explanation. He said it started off one evening a week, after which he dropped Izzy back at her parents. Oh my god, did he pick her up from school? Did her parents know? But over time, they started staying over together for special occasions and then every week until where we are now, where he's been here half the week and the other half with her. He also said that the flat they now use is not the same one they started out with because it's now the one that Izzy lives in full time, while the one they had for the first few years was just a bedsit. He finally admitted that he's consistently gone over the budget that he agreed with my mother that he would be spending on his affair. My sister told him she wasn't happy staying under his roof anymore and packed up to go stay with her boyfriend. She told our mother she loves her and will be back when dad is gone. My mother kind of freaked out and asked her not to go, but my sister just said that she wants nothing to do with our father and she took her case and walked out the door. I ended up confessing all of this to the girl I've been seeing for a few weeks and I fled there too. I was really hesitant as my situation is extremely new and I hadn't wanted to give her the impression that I'm some gross guy like my dad. She turned out to be very understanding but I've promised that this is a very short term fix. A friend of the girl I'm seeing apparently has a room coming free in his share house and I'm about 95% sure I'll be moving there at the start of May. Affording it may be tricky but I'll make it work. Back at the homestead, my sister has been in touch with our maternal uncle, who I think is stepping in to lay down the law to my mother that she needs to kickstart a divorce because this situation is utterly unacceptable. If we were in America, dad would have been liable for criminal charges. I was worried about burning down the house, but the house was already very much on fire. My parents will be separating even if people who love my mother have to step in directly. Someone commented about the boiling frog syndrome and I think my mother is very much a little boiled frog but I'm very hopeful that we can extract her from this situation to move to a more positive way of being and ultimately I drafted a message to Izzy as I think I have her number stored in my phone. Thoughts on whether it'd be wise to send would be appreciated. Hi Izzy, OP here. Dad's probably told you that the family are now all aware about your involvement with him. I just want to make it clear that we bear no ill will to you personally and that we wish you a brighter tomorrow. My dad's selfishness should not dictate your destiny and I hope you can find your way to a future that doesn't include him. Too long didn't read. We have reverse parent trapping our parents and getting our mother the heck out of this situation. Final update. 
I just want to say cheers to all those who got in touch with helpful things to say. Much appreciated. It's been a weird couple of weeks. My sister is now planning on moving back in with mum. She'll also be bringing her boyfriend with her. So strange. I was literally banned from going on a holiday with my then girlfriend at that age, but I think she's just been the youngest child who sets her own rules and that's fine. Anyway, all this is happening as our father has now left for good. I'm saying moved out as I think at 21 I just don't want to be living in my childhood bedroom, but I'll be visiting home fairly frequently. My girlfriend has now met my mother and sister, and although that felt quite out of the blue, it also felt nice and felt like we, my mum, my sister and myself, are going to come through this as a family after all of this. No idea what's going on with Izzy, but I'm going to keep the message in draft form for a couple weeks till the dust settles, and then I'm probably going to send it. I just want to explain that I'm not going to post or update after this because Reddit is weird. Like, really effing strange. So many comments telling me to contact Izzy's parents no matter how many times I said they were a train wreck. So many messages telling me that I'm a virgin who's just jealous of my dad, including a few that were weirdly threatening. It's so bizarre having strangers screech down the internet at me for not minding my own business when my mum has been subject to coercive control for years. My mother has broken down in tears about how trapped my father left her feeling and that she didn't know how to get out. My uncle told me privately that he's gotten some serious Sally Chalm vibes here. We're just grateful to have caught on to what was happening before my father pushed my mother too far. So apologies to the same 95% who've been wonderful, including those who expressed concern that we were talking over or making decisions for my mother, because that's a valid option and one we do need to consider. You're all wonderful and compassionate humans. I'm not scared of the remaining 5% sitting there with their shriveled dicks in their hands, wanking off at the idea of a man in his late 40s screwing a vulnerable barely 16 year old really makes me, as a bloke, realise the insidiousness of the patriarchy and how it salivates over situations where women have been oppressed. Anyway, I'm off. All the best to most of you, but to those who get their kicks by coercion, get help. Right, beer time! Remember, I post new content every day, so subscribe for more juicy tea.